So um, I'm just going to do a quick video on how to figure out spacing on um, open stairs, open stair rail, um, how to get even spacing throughout, and it's actually pretty easy. It, it's kind of intimidating at first, but if you know how to do it and you know the math, then it's really not that hard. So the first thing you want to do is calculate what you have as far as spacing from your post to the wall and that dimension was 37 and a half inches okay so the second thing you're going to want to do after that is figure out how many spindles or balusters you're going to put in and I was doing two per tread and then I have the post tied in at the bottom so I was only going to get one so I have seven balusters Okay, you're going to need to figure out what the dimension, the width of that baluster is. These are inch and a half. So to do the math, come over here and I have 37 and a half inches from wall to the post. And I'm using seven balusters. So seven, time, seven balusters at an inch and a half each equals ten and a half inches. Take your overall length and subtract the total width of all of your balusters combined, 10 and a half inches, and subtract that and you get 27 and a half inches. Now you're going to divide that 27 and a half inches by the number of balusters you used. That number came out to 3.85 as a decimal and convert that over and you get 3 and 27 30 seconds okay so now what you do is this 3 and 27 30 seconds is going to be the spacing from baluster to baluster and that should give you even spacing on your stair treads as you can see from the nose of my tread to the baluster nose of my tread to the baluster and so on it's uniform in overall length or the reveal. So come down here, start at your post and make your um, first measurement, which I said was three and 27, 30 seconds. So what I did is I just cut a block um, to space these out. And then after I got that first one set, then I just used a rafter square to come up and set my block again and then continuously so on. Um, you'll see over here that I have less of a space against the wall than I do on my first post. Um, you theoretically could figure out what the space is from here to here and here to here and figure out what the difference is so you end up with an even spacing right here and right there. But the reason I didn't do that was because I didn't want these uh, spindles any closer to the stair nose than they already were. Um, the other thing you're going to really want to make sure about when you do this is that these false tread caps are level each direction. Um, by doing that you're going to not have to do any angle cuts or any compound cuts on the bottom of your balusters. And other than that, it's pretty easy, pretty straightforward. Um, it is a little more of an advanced thing, but it's really not that hard to do once you figure out the math. The math is really the hardest part of it. Um, so, hope that helps you out.